Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Junkyard Digs, where it's snowing. The reason I'm walking down the alley right now is because uh, one of our neighboring shops over here shot me a text today and said, hey, if you get a chance, you need to come see what's on the lift. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're heading over to see what these guys got. They said, uh, bring a couple hundred bucks with you and a camera, because this is intense. Let's check it out. This is it? This doesn't look bad. What are we looking at? 150 on the clock. I think I know what we're gonna be looking at here in a minute. Well, not bad up here. All right, why'd you call me over here? Oh God, I found it. Oh my God. You didn't know they could make Swiss cheese out of steel, did you? It's, it's in itself. <laughs> Holy shit! There's nothing left in this frame. Oh, it do it doesn't just stop here. Oh my god! This is on the back supports and back by the bumper. So okay, it's been hit before. You can see how it's crumpled here in the center. Uh, this side just exploded. The spare tire carrier actually is what took all the brute force of the impact. Oh my lord. Did this drive here? Sure did. How? Do this, dude. The... These are all cut out. Fit the frame. What the there. hell? Why? Dude, there is like... <laughs> okay, so I've, I've seen rusty frames. And I've oh, seen... Yeah. You see this on the internet here or there, but I've never seen it in person. I've never seen one this bad. That's the bottom... Oh, my finger's stuck. <laughs> That's the bottom. It's look at it, it's kinked right here. Oh, holy shit, dude! Dude, there's speaker covers for a floorboard over here. <laughs> How far did this drive here? From Williams. Williams. From Williams, which is about. 35, 40 minutes on that one. There's train tracks between here and Williams. Uh, a couple of them that I blew right over. There's probably parts of the frame too. <laughs> I could hear the tailpipe bouncing and the sidebar bouncing, but it's not on there because they fell off. Yeah, it they, didn't you know. make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the light weights are better gas mileage. You can move the side of the frame. I've never seen that before. Oh, I think this is really good. Yeah. I can flex the whole thing. The cab and body mounts are still there. So this gap in the bed, this horrible uh, fit here is actually the frame bending. It's not, it's not a lack of mounts like it usually is. That is the frame being taller than it used to be in the rear. More mounts than frame at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, nope, that's... So we've really got everything working for us front and rear on this on this fine race mobile. <laughs> well, at least the leaky 5.4 kept the frame good up here. Somewhat. I, should we even be under this? Probably not. <laughs> even the inside. Yeah. Jesus, look at how far it is. Half of the trip. <laughs> yeah, it is literally, that's, that's at least four and a half feet right there. And then it, it keeps going. Is this the worst frame you've ever seen? You've been doing this a lot longer than I have. Well, I've got ideas for this. Do you want to sell it? Yeah! I'll, Who wouldn't want to buy this beautiful vehicle? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll give you more than they're gonna give you at the scrap yard because it's not made of metal anymore. You're gonna scrap paint and plastic. Uh -huh. <laughs> you win there. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll take it home and have our fun with it and make money off of it in a way that most people can't with a video. Right. And bring some people entertainment and show them what real northern rust looks like and everyone still wins in this nightmare scenario winning is good how's 800 bucks sound <laughs> i think it sounds fantastic let's do it <laughs> let's see if this thing survives the seven eight mile trip home and then see how long it'll last in a frozen bean field i'm giving it minutes this is going to be a quick video because <laughs> the phasers are out too right that's why i came in She's, she's junk through and through. 
let's go uh, have some fun with it and then turn it back into pop cans the way it should be. It's got a fucking SS badge in the grill. Is that the super salt model or? All right, let's see if this thing even drives to the shop. Yeah. Honestly, I was expecting worse inside. It's only got 152 on it. I wonder what this does. Is that the, is that the frame stiffener? Oh yes, five four. Oh, <laughs> they sold me a piece of crap. I got scammed. Ooh, why is it? Why does it take so long to rev down? The brakes work nice. That's good. You don't want those early 5.4s, the three valves. They are, as you can tell, trash. <laughs> Come on, through the intersection, there we go. Okay, it's traveled all the way back to the shop. Let's crash it into this snow pile and see if it just breaks right in half immediately. Oh, damn it, it died again. I wanna see, now that we've got some twist in it. Oh, look at that, the bed's straight. <laughs> what, are we, what are we looking at down here now? You know what? This thing might still be stronger than I thought. We might have to work to break this one. I've gotta go edit this week's video, and then we got a little trip planned this weekend when we're back next week. Got some warm weather coming up. It'll be Junkyard Digs versus the Rusty Black Beauty. We'll see you guys then. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so. It's been a year. Seems to be the theme for all the videos we're putting out right now. There's, it's been a year. Long story short, let's bring you up the speed on this truck and what it's been doing. It's been sitting in my front yard. Uh, I used it to knock a tree over once and I think another time we drove it through the woods for fun. Nothing's changed besides the fact that the alternator did quit working. So it now has even more problems than it had before. Now, being myself, I don't like scrapping or crushing things of value. Uh, that's kind of the whole premise of our channel is keeping cars on the road. This is not one of those and for anyone who wants to say well There's a lot of valuable stuff like hey the interior doesn't look that bad blah 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 I tried to genuinely sell this whole thing for a thousand bucks on Facebook marketplace to anyone that wanted parts I made this very clear very well written description saying this is not a roadworthy vehicle and when I say I had the stupidest messages on Facebook marketplace I've ever seen I mean, I've had the stupidest messages about this I've ever seen. Here's a quick list of some I'll read as a voiceover. All right, so this truck's been sitting in my yard for a year. I've been a little apprehensive about making the video because I'm scared how people will react to us actually destroying something for once instead of making educational content like we usually do. It's ugly, it's in my way, I think I'm better off just selling it. So let's make a Facebook post. 2004 F-150 for parts. This is a 2004 F-150 with severe frame rust. It runs and drives, but it is not safe for the road. Frame has severe rust and is unrepairable. It has bad cam phasers and the alternator doesn't work. It runs poorly, dies often, but will drive onto a trailer. Thousand bucks, OBO, all or nothing. Don't have time to part it out myself. Seems like a well-written, straightforward post. I don't know how anyone could be confused about this, but I'm sure they'll find a way. And post. All right, first message. Hello, is this available? Yes. What are cam phasers? Oh god, it's already started. This is gonna be one of those listings. Next message. Will these seats mount on a 1995 Ford Bronco? How would I know that? Why would I know that? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna assume no, because it's not a 1995 Ford Bronco I'm selling, but maybe they do. Go ask Google instead of the guy selling a random truck on Marketplace. Hi, is this still available? Yes. Okay, where I at? I am in Marshalltown. Can you send me a video? Of what? Of the to truck. Yeah, I know, but what on the, t you know what, never mind. Hi, is this still available? Yes. You more pictures send to my please? Is this the same guy with a different account? Hi, is this available? Unfortunately, trade for car that runs great. What is it? You understand this does not run and drive reliably, correct? It said drives and runs in captions, so I thought it did. It also says the cam phasers are bad, the alternator doesn't work, and the frame rusted in half. I can weld a frame and alternator is cheap. This truck is for parts, and that still doesn't fix the cam phasers. No, but you can get cam phasers for $300 roughly. Yeah, and then like two grand at a shop to put them in. 
I just have a baby on the way and moved from Florida to Iowa in this car like all-wheel drive, but my fiancé would feel safer in a truck. You would literally be safer driving a lawnmower down the road in this truck. It is for parts only. Okay, haha, thanks. Pretty sure at this point I went back to the listing and made all the bad parts capital letters to see if that would help. It didn't. Also, for the love of God, people, it's sale. S-A-L-E, sale. Not for sale. So yeah, I am going to do what I bought this truck to do. Right now it's on the charger, so we need some charge into the battery. Uh, we've got some big bumps out there in the cornfield. I'm sure we could find a jump or something. Maybe find ourselves a Grand Prix and a brick. Test some crash scenarios. What would happen if you got T-boned in a pile of crap like this? And just show how unsafe a rusty or compromised frame is on the road. Let's go break some shit. For science. It's for science. I've seen too many YouTube videos of people jumping trucks over dunes and crashing them and whatnot to know that I don't want anything to do with this being in my face. Shit. <laughs> <Sorry. Man. laughs> okay. Now it's safe. We got our battery charged up. Got our airbag out. Got some GoPros mounted up. It's time for the first test. And that is the ruts. It's just grass, I guess you can't really see anything. But just trust me, it's really rough over there. So I'm gonna drive through that, and we'll see if this thing snaps in half right away, or if we get a couple passes, or if we're even gonna move on to the second test. All right, let's see if she makes it. Gotta adjust my mirrors. You know, I don't wanna be unsafe on the road. Should probably put a seatbelt on. Safety first, kids. This is for every freaking 2005 to 2010 Triton that existed. air off of some of those. I think you got a little wider. Yeah. At the bottom. Yeah, as you see there, two degrees to the left. <laughs> Actually, there's a little more separation back here. Maybe. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. I guess, you know what, I'll put my seatbelt on this time and hit her again. Yeah, maybe that would be a good idea. Oh, look, a bunch of spare changed it. That's revealed itself. And some sick shades. Okay, let's do it. Oh, she's a little down on power. There it goes. Maybe I'll hit it the other way. Oh. Ouch! <laughs> oh, my legs! Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, we broke something up front. I lost power steering, and I smell fluid. Oh, oh, oh shit. Where's my hat? Okay, time to check. Ow. Whose idea was this? It was your idea. Dude, it was like so smooth the other way, because that was the direction I had built the ramp for. I was like, I know it's a little steep on the other side, but how bad could it be? I had like second and third thoughts midair. Yeah, the back wheels were a couple feet off the ground. That in the air, and I already like felt the pain from my legs hitting the bottom of the dash. <laughs> I was like, oh, I still gotta come down. <laughs> Let's see what it did, because I lost power steering. Oh, good. Ow, my legs. 
Why did I lose power steering? Oh, something blew up over here. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. There's oh, look fluid. at this. Fluid everywhere. It's splattered all over. It's on the hood too. Dude, that was such a hard hit. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's see how the frame is. Yeah. How are you still here? This isn't helping me prove my point that these vehicles shouldn't be on the road anymore. <laughs> they shouldn't at all. I think the problem is I'm stressing the front where it was still somewhat okay. I'm sure it's it's moved an inch. We just can't see it. All right, then. let's put our camera in a better spot and try it again. Oh no! I'm like stuck. That better. I'm gonna try one more. Oh. Oh, you killed it. Big sad. All right, this is the one we're looking for right here. Let's watch this again in slow motion. Pay attention to the front fender and the door. Remember that rust hole in the front of the frame? Yeah, it's right about there. Watch the reflection in the door panel is right there. It gets all warbly. Now let's back that up a little bit and look at the shape of the truck's body when that point hits. If you'll notice, it's quite reminiscent of a banana. The top of the bed is touching the cab, the tires all the way up into the fender, the fender smashed into the door, and looking at the body line on the fender in front of the tire and behind, you can tell that even the nose of the truck is pitched up a little. Nevertheless, the tailgate in this picture being like six inches too high in the rear. Now for an added layer of science, I've scoured the internet and found this crash footage of a 2006 from back in the day. This truck is identical with the exception that it's brand new and not full of rust holes. This is a 35 mile an hour front end crash test in which the whole front of the truck came to an abrupt stop and was disformed. Look closely and you'll see that the amount of flex in the frame pretty much matches ours after a bunch of rust and simply jumping it off a dirt pile in a cornfield. Pretty scary. I hate these trucks, but damn if they're not stronger than my back. We need to find another test because apparently low orbit is <laughs> just fine. I really thought this would be like, look, it broke in half. Don't drive rusty frames, but you still shouldn't. <laughs> you still should not. And they do make repair kits for these trucks, but this one was far beyond that. I mean, not only did it have the frame problems, but there's everything else that's barely working as well. You wanna try it? Sure. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. is. There it is. That's, that's definitely moved the frame or the body up front. Yep. Also, check this out. Look where the bed's been hitting the oh yeah the cab right here, and the bed's been hitting the door. That's not supposed to happen under normal sanctioned use like we're using it right yes. now. Yes, definitely. Well, now what? Maybe we can bring a Grand Prix over here. And... Which car do you want to drive? <laughs> Either I have preferably a rock on the pedal or something amongst something along those lines. Let's brainstorm for a bit. All right. I don't do this kind of content normally. Obviously, if you're new to the channel, it's actually completely the opposite. It's usually educational, how to bring cars back to life, how to fix carburetors and stuff like that. Not ever destruction, but I've I've always wanted to do one. This is a good good truck to do it. Don't worry, this isn't going to be the normal rep from here on out. Anyway, we've been brainstorming for a little bit and I think we have another test. I'd love to like chain this to a tree or a boulder or something and try to pull it and see if we can crack the frame that way. And I don't have any chain and even if I did, I don't want to purposely yank on something that I know is an immovable object with a chain because that's how you get a chain to the back of the head in the driver's seat and someone gets hurt. Unlike a lot of people that do this stuff on YouTube, I don't want to die and I realize that if I get hurt, it's going to be like that for a long time. Dang my self-preservation making it a not as awesome video, I guess. Yeah, come on, Kevin. What we've come up with though, we want to test a simulated rear end incident with a very rusty frame, especially that one, which has big chunks missing in the back. 
right before the tow hitch, which should be the thing that gets hit in a crash. So to do that, we've got this big willow tree I've been meaning to cut down because it broke the planter last spring. Let's go get a truck, drive it into that backwards as fast as we can, and simulate getting rear-ended. See if we can fold that back end under. This is a scientific test. You all right? Take a look then, huh? Well, there's a curtain over it. I'll tell you what, it, uh... Oh, it's hiding all its secrets. Oh, look, the tree's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> that folded the hitch a lot. <laughs> Grab some pliers and bend it back up. <laughs> bed has shifted my way up top now. Oh, yeah? It's, I got a, I got a, like, I can stick my whole hand here, and that one's touching. Oh, dude, it's... Oh. I'm gonna look oh. at it. Do you see where it folded? At like a 45. Right there. That's supposed to be like here. <laughs> and straight. And it just folded. It did it on the other side, too. It right at the rust hole over there just and completely the entire, collapsed. The entire back just went up. That's what we've been looking for, to show that the rust is going to be your weakest point. Check out that over there. Right at the rust hole, just... Completely folded. Well, I say we do it again. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Personally, being in the vehicle, I can think of a few reasons. But... Round two? Yeah, round two. Just for size. Oh, jeez. Yep, you're on the tire there. Oh, the rim flew out. A bush light can appeared. <laughs> I, I'm gonna need some of those. So this would be the scenario of you got rear-ended, but you're like, it's okay, I can make it home. Uh, and then you got rear-ended again. It used to be. It used to here. be like, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, I think we actually broke the frame in two places, three. This is what we were hoping for. Right? Oh my god. It did exactly that. Yeah, so it's supposed to be here. It's folded pretty much straight down over there. This is at a huge angle. It's crumpled here. And then I'm guessing if we go forward more, yeah, that spot there ain't happy. And it folded the leaf spring. The cut clear through. Oh, dude, look at that. That is incredible. I don't study cars a lot after accidents. This is very interesting to look at. All right, time to compare our test to some original crash test footage again. Unfortunately, I was not able to find any 05 to 08 rear end crash test footage, but I did find some of the prior generation of F-150. It's probably worth noting, if I'm not mistaken, these were actually weaker trucks. Keep that in mind as we're watching. Now this test was conducted with a 3,000 pound sled traveling at 50 miles an hour. That is 50 with a 5-0. Knowing our wheelbase is 145 inches and our frame rate is 60 frames per second, we can calculate that the truck traveled 145 inches in 33 frames on the second impact. That gives us 263 inches per second, which converts to 14 9 mile an hour and it folded like a taco that is the result i was looking for to show how weak a rusted frame is like look at that look at the crumple right there just gone and people wanted to buy this and drive it on the road you get in a crash this is what's gonna happen well, what do you want to do next it still drives we got a couple grand prix we do want to test the side collision see how the frame holds up to that i think that's a grand idea <laughs> i think it's a grand prix <laughs> idea <laughs> That was terrible, Kevin. Also, side note, the tree is just fine. It's got a, like a minor little scuff. It did a lot better than the truck, that's for sure. Ah, yes. The survivors. Many of which did not survive well and are barely alive and I probably should have scrapped. This one leads that charge. This was CJ's. Definitely CJ on TikTok. Give him a follow. A friend of mine from Florida. <laughs> oh, it stinks in here. Oh, it smells like piss so bad. Whoa. A little bit of lifter noise. A little bit of rod knock. A little bit of knock. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's like race day was yesterday. She moves. Stop knocking. 
this before. Neither can I. Let's see how it goes. What do you say? Shoot for the moon even if you miss you'll land in the stars. Yeah something yeah. like that. Yeah. Shoot for the truck if you miss you'll land among the trees. The tree. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Kevin, if you're editing this and you got this far, you smell bad. Damn it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, it just blew up. <laughs> it just blew up? I think it just blew up. Like, I think it took a rod. I guess it just didn't want to die that way. It wanted to die here. It went out on its own terms. Yeah, that it did. Alright, let's go get another one. have been an accident on the farm. Oh no. I think I had a GoPro sitting right here. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. It's gonna be some great footage, maybe. It's just spinning off into the woods. May very well have. It took off and went like right and then it came back left and oh. Just nailed it. Fine. Oh the airbag went off. Yeah look at there. Huh. We pulled the fuse on those too. Did you? That just goes to show. Just because you pull the fuse does not mean that your airbag is safe, by the way. <laughs> Some of these have capacitors in them and they will still go off. So you need to take them all the way out of a car and then you're safe. <laughs> Until you get into a car crash. Yeah. <laughs> Never ever drive on the road without them. Oh shit. We broke an axle shaft. Yeah, that's an axle. <laughs> yep. All right, let's get the tractor. We're really stuck in there. There it is. Jeez. The door's seen better days. Looks like most of our damage was caught by the body. I just get a new door, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh Steering. no, the frame is the frame is curved. It's gonna be hard to see on camera, but it is it, it's at least an inch off from where it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, you can kind of see that it's bent. But yeah, that's a dramatic change. Well, the passenger probably would have been okay. Their compartment is still like it's supposed to be. The seat is smashed up against the door though, so I hope your hand wasn't here or something. The dash is moved and bent, and the uh, glove box obviously popped out. The door's folded way open, but yeah, that frame, the frame is what we're looking at. <laughs> Look at that. That's bent to hell. Oh, hang on, something's wrong. Oh, did we hit it right in the ECU? Four wheel drive lights flashing. Dash, 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 miles to E, and dash, 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 miles on the dash. We might have severed the connection with the ECU. I got, I got nothing. Not a thing. Nothing. It's like the on switch. <laughs> Activate. Oh no. <laughs> There's a tow hook. Oh. The car hit the truck so hard, the truck hit the tree, ripped the tow hook off the front of the frame. <laughs> it's not even rusty. It must have just ripped clean out of the frame. Yeah. Imagine if someone got that truck stuck and tried to pull off of this. This would have been a 30 pound projectile through a back window. <laughs> Terrifying. Found it. You found it? It's way over here. Holy crap, dude. All right, meanwhile, inside the truck, that right there is a coil driver for a relay. Which I'm gonna guess means, aha, a broken relay. I wonder if I can twist these two wires together to make it go. Let's find out. All right, new relay's in. We got crank, but no start. 
I believe the inertia switch is literally on this fender right where the car hit. So there's a good chance that probably went off and disabled our fuel pump. So I need to find that. Oh, yep, it was clicked. <laughs> All right, I'm trying now, sir. Oh, dude, she's back to life. <laughs> Just like that. Maybe a little more. Okay. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, Kevin. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> That's a pesky door. You're moving that car. We've had a full day of fun with this thing. Oh yeah. When did the bed go back down? Oh. It was like way up here. Yeah, it's it now it's, it's like, lower. It's like off the tire now too. I mean I did just boop that car a little bit when I backed up, but I don't think that would have done it. I think it was from getting slapped down for oh my god, it is beyond a ninety degree in there. I don't know if I can look at that frame. Look at in here. You got a big buckle right there. Oh, it buckled on the bottom down here finally. We actually Folded the whole frame over a little bit. That rust down there is no longer aligned. <laughs> We've of course got a big sway from getting hit under here. This used to be over here and now it's back. This door I can stick my hand in. This door doesn't close. This door, I definitely see what it is. We've got some pinches right there. The whole front is up a little more than it used to be. Yeah. That's from hitting the tree. Took that, uh, took that tow hook right off. They must not have been very good tow hooks to start with. This door gap, surprisingly, hasn't changed too much. This one here definitely got bigger. Yeah. That is ridiculous. How's our frame down here? Ooh, yeah, she's, uh, she's mint. She's a bit bent and buckled, to say the least. I am honestly surprised it's still in one plane for the most part, though. Yeah. It was impressive. So if you ask me, the takeaway at the end of the day, don't be an ass on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moral of the story. I was looking at it while we were walking around and I saw the front end was pretty, pretty clean. damaged. It just kind of got wedged in front of that tree there. I think we could do a lot better. I think we could change that. Oh! Oh, Lord. this episode something I always kind of wanted to do take a car out into the cornfield now that I own one and just beat it until there's nothing left at this point like I said we're gonna send that and that and the other one to a junkyard so that if there's any usable parts still left on them people can come take those off at a public junkyard instead of bothering me with their BS on Facebook marketplace I was honestly very impressed with how well that truck held up and the fact that it lasted this long and as far as I can tell still runs and dries. 
If you're new here, like I said earlier, this is not our normal content. So go check out some of our other videos here on YouTube. And if you guys are subscribed to the channel, thank you. You rock. We'll see you right here next week for another episode of Junkyard Days. Peace. Let's go see how we did on this thing. Holy shit. Oh my God. Dude, what? It ingested the tree. Oh my God. It's two feet, two and a half foot into the truck. It ripped the lower control arm off. Oh my god. It hit the freaking control arm against the tree. I didn't think it was going that fast when it hit the tree. I mean, it was moving. <laughs> For sale. Runs, drives, some exterior damage, frames a little rusty, cam phasers are bad, alternator doesn't work all the time. No low ballers, we know what we got. No low ballers, we know what we got. <laughs> No way. Oh god. It's pissing something out. Yeah, it's red. Oh, that makes sense. Best day of work ever.